today let's update the DLSS file for Steam users. First open up uh, the Steam client, right click on your MSFS and go to manage and browse local files. Then check for the MVNGX DLSS file. Check its version by going to properties and details. Now copy this file and save it somewhere safe. Now let's download the latest DLSS file. Just Google uh, NVIDIA DLSS file. Download and uh, go to Tech Power Up. Check for the latest version. So here it is 3.5.10. So let's download. Since I have downloaded, I'm not downloading again. I have saved uh, the original and the downloaded one here. Double check it is the original one or not. It's 2.4.12. So this is the latest one. So let's check its details. 3.5.10. Okay. So now let's copy this file and uh, go back to our flight simulator folder. Check for the same file delete it and paste the new file that's it so let's run the simulator Now go to options, general options and uh, graphics. So here I have selected DLSS super resolution and uh, resolution is in quality. So these are our other settings which I'm using. Now let's go to some uh, heavy airport and uh, check for the performance. So we'll go to New York, KJFK. set it today so that uh, we'll have better uh, visibility if you are bound by CPU then you may not see any performance increase but if you are bound by GPU you will definitely see some performance increase if you are using this file Tower Spice Jet 7 Tree 8 ready for straight out departure at runway Tree 1 left. To check that, go back to general options and then developer mode, developers, and the developer mode to turn on. On the debug on top, click on display fps if uh, there it is showing limited by main thread then you are bound by cpu if it is showing limited by gpu then you are bound by gpu that's it thanks